everybody. Today at Marzo's Hockey School, we'll be practicing some tight turns. Tight turns are a basic skill, just like forward skating, backward skating, or crossovers, but they're a little bit harder to do. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to do them properly so that you can explode out of that corner. So let's start with the upper body. Think of your shoulders, or your torso, and your stick as your steering wheel. If your body turns in the direction that your feet want to go, then your feet are going to follow quite easily. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to glide and turn my torso and watch what my feet do. One more time. My feet are going to go in the direction that my body goes. That's why when I go into the turn, it's important to lead with my body because if I don't, my feet are gonna have a hard time to follow and it's gonna kinda look like this. That's not gonna work. Always lead with your body. With your upper body, that is. Now we'll go, go into the legs. Leg work. Usually when we're skating forwards, we wanna have our legs, bring our legs always into the middle. But when we're doing a tight turn, in order to have stability, in order to be able to explode out of the corner, we want to have them a little bit wider than normal. On top of that, our inside leg is always going to lead a bit, lead, lead a little bit. Think of your inside knee leading your lower body. You're going to do a couple slowly. off a little bit with the heel of your outside skate in order to push off, cross over, and explode out of that corner. Another key point in terms of footwork or edge work is that if you want to do a really tight turn at high speeds, you have to use the outside edge of your inside skate in order to stop a little bit and make that turn tight. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit, but you're gonna see that my inside leg turns out and I'll be breaking with the outside edge of my inside skate. If you don't do this, what's gonna happen at high speeds you're gonna do a super wide corner. I'm gonna now not use my outside edge to really turn, and you're gonna see how wide my turning radius is. I'm gonna fall off my rink and land, into my, land in my house. Now we're gonna show you a close up of my skates, I'm trying to show you exactly how the feet are turning, how the edges are working while going into a tight turn. having problems using the outside edge while doing a tight turn, here's a simple drill that you can practice. It's called a T-stop. I'm going to be gliding on one leg and bringing my other leg in front of me and turning it like this and try to stop with my outside edge. Looks like this. By the way. stop is a really good drill to work on controlling your outside edge during a tight turn. So let's come to the most common mistakes that I see when doing a tight turn. By far the, by far the most common mistake I see is that the inside skate starts to drag. It looks a little bit like this. Quick tip to fix this 
Always think, like I said before, push your inside knee forward. Not your inside skate, your inside knee. If your legs come in parallel to the turn, then your inside leg has a much higher chance of slipping out than if your inside knee is pushed forward like this. Nothing's gonna happen. The leg will not slide back when the inside knee is pushed forward. The second biggest mistake I see is that the players lift their leading toe. I'm not sure why they do it. Looks like this. The inside, the front heel cuts through the ice like, the, like a rudder, but you can't push off like this. You don't really have much control. The part of the blade that's going to be on the ice when you're doing a tight turn should be probably the middle part of the blade and not the back. So always think when you're doing a tight turn, front skate, the middle part of the blade is on the ice and then you cross under. And the third most common mistake I see is no upper body stability. Players go into the corner relatively straight, go down like this, and then come out like this. Looks like this. When I go into a corner like this, I have no stability, no power, my head's down. If I have a puck on my stick, the puck's gonna be farther away from my body because this pushes my stick out. Always try to keep the upper body stable when going into the turn. So let's come to doing a tight turn with a puck before my ice here gets totally thrashed. I think the biggest argument among skills coaches when doing a tight turn is on the forehand side, should you cross your hands over or not? So this is my opinion. Now watch what happens when I cross my hands over when doing a tight turn on the forehand side. So I come out like this. Now, what am I supposed to do now? I can't really pass, I can't shoot, I can't stick handle. I have to open up again before I can make a play. Some coaches will argue, but you can protect the puck better or you can bring it closer to your body better like this. Okay, then what I would say is then let go of your top hand because that way you can actually really protect the puck. It looks like this. I have the puck nicely in my body. I still would have to bring my stick back out before making a play, but at least I can use my hand to guard off an opponent. Your other option, and I think the best option for most times, is just to simply pull your top hand up. This is gonna bring the puck closer into your body, the puck closer in, and so you won't have a way out here, and you'll be able to make a play immediately out of the turn. Looks like this, I'm gonna do it on both sides. Pulling top hand up keeps the puck close to your body and you can still make a play. So that's it for tight turns at Marcel's Hockey School. Like I said, basic skill, but still gives a lot of players some problems. Hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to click on like or subscribe. Now I gotta go make some new ice. It's totally thrashed. See you next time at Marcel's Hockey School.